Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we got the big key. This time, we get to figure out where we're going here, which is actually probably very simple. As long as I remember to look around, really. Like I said, as long as I remember to actually look around. It should take, yep. I forgot how effective the bows can be. Because, oh my goodness, that was a one shot. Now I need more bow arrows. Okay, not a single arrow, not a single arrow. Okay, so, wait, there's a, no, there's no treasure. I'm trying to remember where the treasures are so that I can easily get them. All right, we have some new enemies. That aren't exactly much of a threat. Uh... This is definitely the way I want to go. Yeah, we can tell that the bow is a little bit overpowered here. It's a wonderful weapon to have. As long as you don't miss. there is a treasure in this room. Uh, according to some... I did uh, go ahead and check a few things just to make sure that I was on pace here. Okay, I'm better than this usual. There we go. Oh, uh, I missed one of you. Okay, that should be all of them. Once this room is cleared of the goblins. Me and names. That's the that's my big weakness. There is a treasure chest up there. That probably can't be oh come on. Thank you, I needed that. After how many times I messed up. Uh Clever contraption, there wasn't even a switch. Let's see. And really, my recommendation is to definitely... Whoa, there's more of these guys. I really do enjoy hitting the um, explosive barrels. It is great. So, like I was saying, there's a treasure chest in this room that according to a lot of sources you can't get right now. For some odd reason... <sighs> Wait, I think it might be accurate. Because I think it requires... Now that I'm looking at it, I think I know what it requires. I'm 
Oh. How did I not get into the... Weird? Tell me I done goofed. I think I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, at least we get to max up our arrows. If I could stop goofing. Verify because I'm not. Yeah, you can't get it yet. Oh well, there's an item, a dungeon item that you need to come back here and get that. Unfortunately. Oh, I heard somebody try to. You, right there. I don't like you. Was there another guy with an arrow? Yes, there was. Where is he? that just randomly happens. I should have waited on that one. Okay, I thought I was aiming at him. Oh, well. Uh... Let's see, there should be... Oh, right. In this case, I think milk has outlasted its usefulness. Ah, uh, no fairy. No fairy. I'm trying to remember what side the fairy is on. The fairy is always in one of these pods. Or not. Okay. Well, this boss is not exactly hard. I say that and watch me totally get bodied. But seriously, he's, he's not that hard. He is intimidating looking, I'll give you that. After those uh, mighty number nine boss fights, he is absolutely nothing. Well, isn't this ominous? And you can see how the fused shadow has deformed him. 
Because this used to be a Goron. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I don't want him to have his sword out. Twilight Igniter. Oh! Okay. Yeah, like I said, watch me get totally by. Midna, I actually do know how to fight him. I'm just being stupid. Uh... This is how you fight him. You hit his headpiece with an arrow. Come on, look at me. And like I said, I will get completely bodied by this guy for the first time ever. Seriously, I have never taken a hit on this guy. Like I said, that could have gone a lot better. Oh my goodness, I'm almost embarrassed for how bad that went. <laughs> but seriously, all you gotta do is hit his weak spot with your arrows. Pull his chain. And then... Wail on him with your sword. And that is Heart Piece... Heart Piece? Heart Container. Numero dos. And the fused... wait. Yes. <laughs> well done. Now we have two fused shadows. Hmm, you know, you've been very helpful so far. So as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Zant. That's the name of the King of Darkness who cast this pall of shadows over your world. He's very strong. You would be nothing to him in your current state. But Xant will never be my king. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. Not that your Zelda is much better. It still appalls me that this world of light is controlled by that princess. A carefree youth. A life of luxury. How does that teach duty? But, I guess I shouldn't begrudge her the circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it, after all, and I would never wish harm on her. No, as long as I can get my hands on the few shadows, I'll be just fine. Well, just one more left, shall we? <laughs>
And that is one more heart container. Can we talk to him yet? Yes, we can. Shake that sleep from your eyes. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, my head. It aches. Is that all he says? Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't skip over that. Ugh. So much pain. I cannot remember anything. And let's go. Yes, we're done here. Yeah, may as well. And here's me hoping my recording hasn't crashed or something crazy like that. Across the plain and past the Great Stone Bridge, in the lands guarded by the spirit Lenayru, you shall find one who you seek. Hey, look, Colin's okay. Link. Still a little weak from his ordeal, but we can give him that. Elia, You've got to save Ilya. Those monsters left me with the other kids, but they must have taken her somewhere else. Whenever I thought I couldn't go on, I would think of you and Ilya and hold on, Lou. Wow, that... Go on. Yeah, that's... Completely reading things incorrectly again. See? I... I'm fine now. Remember what I told you back in Ordon, Link? When I grow up, I'm going to be just like you, Link. So you don't have to worry about me anymore. Go help Ilya. Leave the children to me. I will watch over them, I swear. Swear it. Ugh. Do not let these their fates trouble you. Go to those who need you. In Hyrule, countless tales are told of the ancient hero, and your deeds bring them all to mind. May the graces of the great goddesses who shaped Hyrule bear you on your way. I love how Talo and Beth bow deeper than um, Renato and Luda. Okay, so next on the agenda is ignoring what I thought was next on the agenda. Okay, cool. Renato, what do you have to say? Much has happened here, but at last I feel joy beginning to return to this village, thanks to you. Even Tallow, who was so saddened by the incident with Colin, has at last recovered his good spirits. That young boy wanted dearly to help, so he keeps watch from the observation platform now. The lookout platform is high above the bomb shop. I am sure that if you were to go there to speak to Tallow, he would be happy. And yes, that's what I was thinking that I had to do, actually. But he was not where I thought he was going to be. Go figure. The bomb shop. Because important. And because he finally actually has the materials, I am going to be a jerk. And he doesn't give dialogue. I thought I could have sworn he had some dialogue for that. Hey now, bud. How about this now? How about this now? Yep, I finally managed to get my numbers together and opened up shop again. Well, sort of. I guess I've only got one type of bomb. Hey, that's one more than none, right? If only my storehouse had survived. But hey, ain't as bad as all that. 
I'll add more types as we go. For now, have a look see and then 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 then. I've got a special going right now, my bomb bag premium kit, which comes with a bag and bombs. It's 120 rupees, how about it? Considering that we have almost a full bag, a full wallet of rupees, yes. That's right, now, you, now you'll get a taste of the true height of perfection with my finely crafted bombs. Oh, and you can combine bo bombs and arrows to make bomb arrows, for when you need ranged explosives. I'll send you a letter with the details later so you can read about it in your, at your leisure. I swear that palm bag looks hilarious. And like he said, they are open 24-7, although I have no idea how, considering, you know, it's only him who runs the shop. I should have time for one more thing here. Say, brother, if you want to ever want to get to the roof of the store, sure. Okay, I forgot to. So this is our delivery man who brings us the bomb ingredients for Barnes to do his thing. Now the hilarious thing is, is, uh, is that is, 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 okay, what, is, what, the hilarious thing is that I went up here kind of before it was necessary and got the, um, 50 rupees that was up here, so. I keep skipping over their dialogue, and I have no idea why. It's kind of good. And you don't send me all the way up. Well, I am out of time, so I am not going to do what I planned on doing just yet. But you can look forward to that next episode. For the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels as the camera pans awkwardly to Link's right.